Sparks. I'm Eddie. I'm Kate. And I'm Kyle. We're here today seeking $300,000 for 10% of our business, Canole Blue. In Chihuahua, Mexico, there's an indigenous community called the Tarumaras who run up to 100 miles in a single day up in the mountains with these sandals made out of tires. So how do they have the endurance to do that? They consume this superfood called Pinole. It is a roasted and ground corn mixture that's been used to fuel this tribe of incredible long-distance runners. Growing up, I wondered why this amazing superfood didn't exist here. So I decided to bring back this ancient Mesoamerican tradition to the United States myself while donating back directly to the Tarahumara community. Pinole Blue is a line of products made from 100% USDA organic heirloom blue corn sourced from Mexico and stone ground with an ancient method using volcanic rock. This blue corn is rich in antioxidants, complex carbs, and has more protein than other corn varieties. And we use it in our drink mix, cookies, and even our stone ground tortilla that would make your mouth water. <laughs> so, sharks, who's ready to get on the grind with Pinole Blue? <laughs> well, smell <laughs> ding ding for uh, for on the grind. I uh, <laughs> love love a good pun. Uh, Okay, cool. So asking for three million dollars, uh, and a neat story. Um, very different kind of background, and and enables people to uh, have uh, maybe a deeper connection uh, with the the food and the background. So I I like that. the The thing I'm seeing though is is that's a that's a lot of background uh, on on that food, and I wonder it, there there's probably a reason why. Uh, it hasn't been brought by somebody else unless they have competitors and that, you know, we'll maybe mention that later, but it's one of those things that, uh, you know, they're coming in, they're asking for $3 million. Uh, hopefully they got some sales. Hopefully they got some traction to, uh, to be, to be able to at least get maybe 300,000 for 20% or, or somewhere in that range. Uh, so they're not completely blown out of the water from their, from their original valuation, even though it would have it. Um, we'll see how this, uh, this plays out here, but we'll also, uh, also go and check out shop, super for all your, uh, apparel, your books and courses needs when it comes to being a super, uh, in the super community, it helps support this channel. It's great in front of us. <laughs> right? yeah, Tell us what we have here. Yeah. We have prepared some sample for you. Azulita cookie. And Endora Bite tastes mm. just like a peanut butter, no bake cookie, and a tole latte, tacos with our blue, green, and pink tortillas. I mean, right off the bat, I'm seeing it, it, a lot. It, it, I mean, that's a pretty big diversification of product line. I don't know how long they've been doing this, but uh, that's a pretty big diversification. And, uh, you know, I feel like if, if they're not already like well 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 established in at least one of those uh maybe you know too too diversifying too much out of the gate can absolutely be a killer to a business because you're spreading yourself too thin you're spreading your resources too thin you know the money the energy the time uh all of those uh, you know it just ends up being spread too thin with so many different products to make uh, and, and to sell and to market, especially when you're a new company, you know, having one offer is sometimes better and, and crushing it with that one offer than trying to have like, oh, we got four different things and spreading it out and hoping that you're going to be able to, you know, lift all boats with a rising tide kind of thing. But I, you know, to me, uh, depending on where they're at with sales, uh, it, to me, it seems like they should definitely be, uh, sticking to just one product line. Very good. You look like a very unusual. <laughs> I get that a lot. Yeah. How did you find each other? How did you get together? So, give you a little of my story. Pinole just has a certain place in my heart because it brings back a lot of memories of my parents because they migrated this country with nothing to come to a small town, not knowing the language, the obstacles. And my dad, he works in road construction to this day. My mom was a housekeeper, and the fact that their son is here today is huge. After graduating high school, I went to college to Wichita on a full-ride scholarship, and I had a class with Professor Kate. She is actually oh, our oh, business okay. professor. Yeah. I told her that I have this Pinot idea, and she looked at me square in the eye and said, Eddie, that's a brilliant idea. 
you should start it. Next thing you know, that holiday break, I drove to the border myself, met my cousin, and I brought back a thousand pounds of corn in the back of my pickup truck. You're nuts. Let's go. She introduces me to Kyle. She's like, hey, Kyle's an engineer, but he has a wonderful background in social media. And Kyle was another student of Kate. Yes. We both graduated. We took this on full time, and we started the Tortilla Factory about a year later. How much of this stuff do you sell? Our lifetime sales so far are 720,000. Wow. All what right. Now, wait. Now, Mr. Wonderful said, how much of this stuff do you sell? I don't know if that's lifetime sales just on the tortilla or on everything. Um, but I'm guessing, I'm going to say it's probably for all, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's just on the tortilla and the other ones aren't nearly as selling as well so it's like not worth necessarily mentioning projecting this year are you predicting growth for the business we're projecting seven hundred and thirty thousand this year are you All guys right. making money the gross last year is 260 and uh our net is uh, a little bit over five thousand last year oh that sucks the wind right out of the sails uh wow so i'm guessing because they're reinvesting marketing uh and and maybe investing in the growth of the business but the and and I don't I mean that also I don't know if that means that they're paying themselves either uh at the 260,000 and then but probably not if they're netting 5,000 at the end of the day <laughs> So the biggest challenge I see right now, it's very specific to a certain market, right? I don't know what that word means until you just explained it. How are you going to educate people? How are you going to market it so that you get new customers that might not otherwise know the story? Yes, our main uh, customer segment is Hispanic populations. However, we are using the tortilla as a gateway product to bring people in who is not familiar with, uh, you know, like but, the pinole but, and the cookie. Tell me how many other companies make tortillas. Yes, there is a lot of tortilla companies. I have noticed that when I go to a grocery store. <laughs> That's correct. Come on, when's the last time Mark went to a grocery store? <laughs> I mean, really, seriously. Like, I bar I barely go to a grocery store. I, I We just order online, and, and the, it usually either gets delivered or I'll pull up in the front and they'll drop it in the back of the car. Um, you know, it is a high, highly competitive market, uh, and, and that is going to be a problem. I wonder, though... Uh, Look, I, when you're when you're trying to structure your your business, and you're like, well, if I if I can get people in on this product, right? We're using the the tortilla maybe as a loss leader, uh, and then we get people in on the cookie because the cookie's a higher profit margin item. The uh, the the mix is a higher profit margin item. Um, it, you're not it, It's tough because you're not necessarily going to get everybody there. Um, I almost feel like when I see their logo, I almost feel like they could get away with like a small strip of, uh, let me see if I can quickly go back. So like a small strip underneath Panoli blue of like high in protein, complex carbs, like, and, and make it like kind of small, like it's almost like underlining the Panoli blue, but it's there for you to read. So it's, it, it really simply tells you why it's so much better than everything else. But I have a question. How many stone ground tortillas that are blue corn like this? But you know what? I have never been in a circumstance where someone said, is that a stone ground tortilla? <laughs> yeah. You know, just because you're the only stone ground tortilla doesn't mean people care. Mr. Look, Wonderful guys, seems to care. <laughs> he's, he's still eating it. What you've done is great. But to get me excited, I have to be able to visualize it going to be 7.5 or not even 75 million in sales. And you guys haven't given me an idea of a path that you'll take because you do have challenges to get there. So for those reasons, I'm out. I wanted to say that I think it's a, nothing short of a miracle that you found each other. <laughs> it's pretty Thank remarkable. You. It almost seemed like a family. But I think it's a little too early for me to have the confidence of the traction uh, that I think it would make enough money to have an investment in. So for that reason, I'm out. Yeah, yeah I mean, it goes it goes right back to that $5,000. It, it makes it really tough, uh, you know, because there's, no, there's not enough profit there for, for an investor to be able to come in and, and accomplish uh, and, and be paid for, uh, for what they're, well, paid for long-term uh, for the efforts that they're putting in today. You know, guys, I love your stories. You know, it was so amazing to hear that. You know, I was raised by a single mom in East London. I'm one of four sisters. I know what it means for parents to sacrifice everything 
I think for me, this is just a really hard thing to invest in at this point in time. It isn't for me right now, so for that reason, I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. So, proud taste is great. I like that it does more than, you know, traditional corn tortillas. But while I think it's a great business for you, it's just so early. I don't know about this as an investment for me, so I'm sorry. I'm out. Ah, geez. Well, maybe Mr. Wonderful can come through with a royalty deal uh, on on that. But it's, I mean, it sounds like there probably isn't enough. I mean, they haven't talked too deeply about the numbers, uh, which is kind of disappointing because it doesn't enable me to have a whole lot to be able to add. But just guessing, uh, they're not. You know, the the profit margin is so low that they just aren't. They aren't able to sustain that. Uh, at the end of the end of the day, I mean, a five thousand dollars net profit is. I mean, they're not even going to be able to take any money for themselves. I, I respect the sales, seven hundred thousand sales. That's proof of concept for sure. I'm going to buy it. I mean, I'm just going to go online and put it in my fridge because it's better than the stuff I'm eating right now. But I had to listen to you for a long time to understand that, and that's where the challenge lies for me as an investor. I think it's pretty hard to tell that story without a tremendous amount of work. I don't want to discourage you. I mean, anybody that gets past half a million a has feat. found something. <laughs> we are, we yeah. are at the it's point the classic, that the rocket is ready. It's the classic chicken and tortilla problem. <laughs> it's too early. It's got to have more tortilla on the bone. I'm out. Good luck, guys. Congratulations. Thank you so much. You, you know, Thank before you, before you yeah. let us go. Professor Kate, it's us over. Us Professor Kate, it's only an hour show. I, I understand. But at the end of the day, you need to let the professor have a few more minutes you know, to have a conversation. Hey, we Same can't. thing like my students say, we want to leave the classroom. I say, come on, we're not done. Just a little bit longer. Well, it took us a while to get the sales up and going was because, you know, we were trying to figure out everything. And then we also had a setback in 2018 um, with Kate's husband. Uh, he had a sudden death. And that kind of hit us hard. Um, Devastating for me and my daughter. We choose to go to hospice, and uh, they come to visit him. And after they leave, this is what he said to me. You have to help these two kids because uh, they are scrappy, uh, because they no money. And that's why, you know. Yeah, but, and, and, but and professor, so, you have helped them. You're here yeah. on Shark Tank. It, sales will grow. It's just, it's early. It's too early. I'm sorry, but we drove here from Kansas. We started three years ago with nothing. Eddie had this hand crank and, <laughs> and started with just this hand cranking it out of the Wait. dorm room. Like scrappy is what we do. We've had Emma, anybody. Were you I, lo I love that. You know, that is such a, a, a great lesson for all, everybody watching, right? You start with where you're at, right? And Eddie making the decision to drive down to, you know, pick up a, a, a ton, like a thousand pounds of, of corn uh, and then drive back in his truck. Like, that is a huge, like, it, it, it might not seem like big, you know, picture awesome thing, but it really is, right? It, it's a, it's an opportunity for something bigger to happen down the line. And when we are in our businesses, you know, we're in the day to day, sometimes we're grinding it out, literally like <laughs> waka waka, grinding it out. And, you know, we have to remember that these are the things that we're going to look back on and say, man, they, you know, think about how much more simplistic things were or when, when we were put in that work and, and working in the business versus on the business, and it was just us or a couple of people that were like really getting it, you know, going and and not knowing what tomorrow was going to bring uh, and, and a lot of uncertainty there. But I mean, look, hey, in Eddie's case, he got to go. He got his, you know, free ride, full ride to school, uh, which is absolutely awesome. Clearly, uh, he's he's a hard worker. He decided he was going to, you know, do something other than just, you know, take his education, go get a job. He didn't have to do any of that. He doesn't have to do any of this. And, you know, ha having the opportunity to meet uh, a, a mentor, a teacher, a professor, a mentor, and and then somebody else to, to help come along for the ride uh, and help, like, 
there's so much to be said for that, right? And and college is so much about the experiences that we end up having, the people that we get to meet, more so than the education that we get, uh, you know, for on face value. Were you scrappy when you got started? Oh, scrappy is Did you scrappy. have a lot going for you? <laughs> right, did you have a lot going for you? Not a lot. Lori. Scrappy, you will keep grinding this out. It's really important to know you're young. Like you're just starting. This is not the end all be all. This is the beginning. Good well, luck, guys. Uh, thank you very much. You know, thank really, you. truly thank for you. this thank opportunity you. and then uh, you, you know guys. all the advice that you have. But I just wish that uh, you know. Okay. We are Kate. about to go into. Hey. Yes. We wish we could stay and talk forever. We can't. You guys got to go. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Keep your chin up. That's tough. That's tough. I think the Sharks made a huge mistake, and we've made it clear that we've been able to do something really great out of nothing. It's Absolutely. Part of our pitch, the grind never stops. The grind never stops. Uh, Eddie, Kate, Kyle, I'd love to have you on the show. Just drop a comment down below. Like Dennis here says, I miss Larry Roberts. Hope to see him in your next videos. You two are the best. Thank you so much, Dennis. Uh, I I am actually working on a new channel, second channel, with Larry Roberts reacting to other content other than Shark Tank and business-related content. So I'm looking forward to bringing all that to you in the near future. In the meantime, if you want to check out the uh, P uh, uh, Panole Blues website and social media, uh, click up here. If not, I'll see you in this video down below. Take care and go be super.